Christina Applegate just learned that her grandmother retained custody of Christina's father after a contentious battle. Eager to provide closure for her dad, Christina now hopes to finally find the truth behind her grandmother Lavina's uncertain death. To give us a jump start, Meredith called ahead to Joe Klett, who's an archivist at the New Jersey State Archives. She asked him to see if he can find a death certificate for my grandmother, but since she may have remarried, we asked Joe to look for a Lavina Applegate, Shaw, or Constant. My dad says he was about eight when he was told Lavina died, so Joe's looking for death certificates from around 1950. Okay. We were able to find a Lavina Shaw. Um, I don't know if that's the right certificate. It's, uh, we didn't yeah. find anything under this the other it. names. This is it. This is her because this is 522 Market Street. That... 522 Market okay. Street. So date of death, February 18th, 1946. Okay. But we Wait a minute, what? So, oh, this is her mother. Yeah, because there's Jacob Weaver. Oh, yep. She's a Weaver. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is all we got. Well, it did say that she died in 1946. She died so that in... was soon after the custody battle. Right. And I'm remembering oh. Lavina said that her mother used to watch Bob for her a lot while she was yeah. working. So maybe now her mother has passed away. Right. In addition to one okay. of the child care providers okay. for her son. Okay. And that could be when my dad went to live with his paternal grandmother. Maybe. All right. Well, what does this mean for me here? Maybe we should look online to see if we can find maybe any newspaper articles or something, you know, okay. involving her name and see, you know, maybe we can hit something there. Okay, let's try do that. that. Okay. Why don't we do newspaper archives for New Jersey? I think maybe we should search by just her first name because her first name is so That's unusual. Odd, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then let's see. Let's do um, died. 1955. So let's click on that and see if that first one gives us anything. No. Walton. Lavina Walton. Oh my God. Mrs. Lavina V. Walton, age 33, died at her home yesterday after a brief illness. She was the wife of Charles Walton. In addition to her husband, she was survived by son Robert Applegate. There's no. Oh, can't find a death. Oh. Lavina Walton. Well, now we Thank have a last name. Okay. Now we now have, we a, have a different name. last name to search under. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if we can find Jodah. Aged 33. Did you find some new information? Yes, we did. We want to look under a Lavina Walton. Walton? Mm -hmm. And what's the date of death? 1955, April 1st. Okay, well, we'll see what we can find. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Joe. So does 55 match up with about when your mm -hmm. dad has a memory of no? Mm -mm. 55, my dad would have been 13. 13. But he says he lived with his grandmother the whole time before that. So his mother dies when he's around 13. And I know he went to go live with his father when he was 14. Was he like still living with her or? But no, he's, he swears up and down it was this, his grandmother. He's with so his grandmother, grandmother and his aunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe this will open something up for him. Maybe. I think we found your certificate. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my God. <sighs> Lamina Walton died March 30th, I guess, 1955. Okay. She died of pulmonary tuberculosis with a fusion and cirrhosis of the liver due to chronic alcoholism. So, it's possible everything that my grandfather was saying was true. Okay, she was buried. Okay. And it says- At Riverview. Riverview Cemetery, Cemetery in, Trenton. in Trenton, New Jersey. So she's here. Yeah. Less than a mile away from here. All right. Just gotta go check her out, huh? Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know it wasn't all the answers that you wanted, but no. I think it gave you. I know, I know that we can't, we can't find the the whys, unfortunately. But at least you know my father can know that her death wasn't. 
something, you know, brutal, mm -hmm. and that she just died of a disease, she died of a really bad disease. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. Well, it was really great to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. It's a sad story of a woman who had to be sacrificed because of this disease. It can destroy many families and consequently lines of people after that. And, you know, my father has lived his life thinking that it was something really horrible that happened to Lavina. So it's really unfortunate. It's very possible that when my great-grandmother passed away, my grandmother had to give him up because she couldn't take care of him. I mean, that's what I feel like happened, but I will never know.